bueno, en mi casa, en la casa nuestra de Santos Lugares, es una casa muy curiosa, y tenía un lugar con una, tiene, sigue estando, es un museo ahora, eh, un lugar con una luz maravillosa, la que llamábamos el estudio. No el, el salón, no el living, no, eso era el estudio. ¿Por qué le decíamos el estudio? Porque tenía todas las paredes, y antes el techo también, pero las paredes todavía se veían, de vidrio, de plaquitas de vidrio, plaquitas de vidrio, plaquitas de vidrio. Y el tema es que había toda una... una un deseo familiar de que fuera cierto de que eso había sido un estudio de cine. Porque la casa, originariamente, era de don Federico Valle, uno de los pioneros del cine en la Argentina. Y en la época que él filmaba, eh, se aprovechaba la luz solar al máximo. Las películas tenían poquísima sensibilidad, entonces eh, todo era de vidrio. La gente se calcinaba ahí, pero bueno, había luz. Y siempre... Toda esa fantasía, sobre todo en mí. The filmmaker Mario Sabato, son of the writer El Nosto Sabato, passed away this Saturday at the age of 78. The news was spread by the director's own family through a brief statement. With deep solo, the Sabato family, his wife Elena, and their children Guido, Rosiana, Mercedes, and Juan report that this morning in the city of Benos, Mario Sabato passed away. Sabato had a long career as a director and screenwriter for comedy films for children or the whole family, several of which he signed at that time with the persuadony of Andrian Quiloger. Among them are the well-remembered films of the Super Agents, The Bionic Super Agents 1977, The Super Agents and The Cast Treasure 1978, and Super Agents and Titans 1983, clearly commercial cut. Also, the tapes that were filmed in the country by the members of the Spanish children's vocal musical group Los Pachis, enormously successful in their homeland and in Latin America. Pachesi against the Invisible Investor 1981, The Magic of Pachesi 1982, and The Adventures of the Pachis. 1982. Among others, more experimental that he directed The Power of Darkness in 1979, starring Sergio Runner. Renner and based on the chapter report on the brand from his father's praised novel about heroes and grave. Later, he resumed the figure of his father in the cinema with what was his last film, the documentary Ernesto Sabato, My Father of 2008, which had testimonials from great figures and, and of politics and art. Thank you so much for watching and may his soul rest in peace. <laughs>